in the last chapter of the Book of Unwritten Tales. Remy! No, Wilbur. It's a trap. And now. Uh, excuse me? How can we help you, oh friend of the friend of books? Yeah, the magic circle, what please. Is that about the magic circle again? One has to draw a symbol under the ghost. Won't matter as long okay. as the ghost. Okay. Alright. Come back soon. Or maybe we need to get chalk for Wilbur? Let's, yeah, let's go ahead and see if we can advance a little bit here. Since the troll is distracted. I think there was chalk in here. Oh, Maybe there is in here, too. can't hear anything anymore. I better get the Archmage out of the staff room as quickly as possible. Okay, well, let's, let's do that, then. Do we need to put on the disguise? Well, we will, just in case. That way, the, uh... If there is mentioned. anything that can see, it won't be able to tell who it was. Nine. Forty-one. Have a good evening, Headmaster, Madam. You too, Blockhead. Ah! Yeah. Well, my little it's one. Ivo. Been treating you well? It looks like I'll it's eating fluff. I just have to take care of something first. Okay, so Ivo can look at some other I things. I can't leave Buttercup behind. She well, may no. be a creation of the little Van Buren, but she's my pink-coloured love-hearty hippogriff girl. Is she a creation of the little Van Buren? Is that why she looks as she does? She can come with me as soon as I've finished here. She can wait in the town. Okay. She can come... Alright, well, that that's that then. There's a dollhouse in the fireplace. Very unlikely that a fire will be burning in that fireplace anytime soon. I wonder if all these transformations can be reversed when Wilbur finds a way of destroying the magic wand. Well, maybe we should reverse them before we destroy it. I must admit, there was probably a time when I would have thought these sort of toys very exciting. But I was probably only 80 or 90 years old then. Just so. Alright, here's the rat hole. Lucky the council leader hasn't noticed that I've cleared the entrance to the rat hole. Ooh. She wouldn't appreciate the rats having access to her headquarters. You know what? We ought to bring Wilbur up here so that he and Ivo can talk face to face for a minute. I think I'll let Ivo do the work up there. Oh. She can go places I can't. She can even reach things higher than a meter and a half. Wouldn't you like to I'll like... look after everything down here in the underground. But wouldn't you like to speak to her face to face? Well, I, I suppose not then. I thought it was a good idea. Come on now, get up there. All right, we'll leave Wilbur here then, since he doesn't want to make the journey again. Um, anything That's else? Realm down there. I'm dealing with everything in the town. Right, and you can't get there anyway. Well up to now. Unless you climb down the well rope. That's the Archmage. Let's look at the desk. Maybe we'll find some chalk. Lots of papers, feather quills. Hmm, this is interesting. What? A signet ring with the seal of the council leader. Ooh. It's used to make laws and decrees official and identifiable. We could make that use of that. That until the council leader discovers it, I can pretty much pass any new law that I want. Maybe we should do that. Uh, let's make some laws. Right then, a new law. Well then. Yes, we'll start with this. By order of the council leader, with immediate effect, all pregnant elves must be treated with the greatest respect by anyone. How about anyone. just pregnant anyone? In particular, it is forbidden to call them fat, to poke fun at them, or to try and kill them with an axe. Nice. Anyone breaking this law will be banished from the town. Good deal. That makes it law. Awesome. Oh, we get to post these, maybe? Right then. <laughs> Let's write some more. Law. I am enjoying this. Yes, prerequisite for marriage is love and nothing else. This should help maybe the zombies and others? Two 
adult humans, dwarves, elves, or any other beings capable of rational thought are allowed to marry whomsoever they please, and in any combination. Damn straight. Only prerequisite, love. No one will be forced to marry a pompous ass just because he's a rich prince and mother thinks that I'm getting a bit long in the tooth. <laughs> It's not the best phrase law of all time, but what the heck. I think it gets the point across. More laws. I, I think I'm enjoying this entirely too much. Right then. A new law. All right. Well, this is how we get the amulet then, I guess. So let's do the medicinal purposes. By order of the council leader. Whosoever wishes to inhale the smoke of dried plants may do so for medical reasons. Furthermore, or for they are permitted entertainment. to do so in order to write bad poetry or talk utter nonsense. Good. That's for Arthur, should he ever come to town. Mm-hmm. Glad you are thinking of your old friends. Right then, a new law. Yes, the last one. The one that will get us the amulet. By order of the council leader, with immediate effect, the wearing of magic protective amulets is forbidden. Well, I don't actually need a reason, just because. Absolutely. Whoever is caught with such an amulet will be punished with severe cuteness for at least six months. I don't know if Blout would care about that punishment, but we'll see. Right, with seal and everything. Absolutely. Have we got all these in our inventory now? It looks, it looks. Cool. Anything Making else? new laws is fun, but as they won't be enforced, I'd really better concentrate on doing the more serious stuff. Okay. Hmm. The jar's been fastened to the cupboard with heavy and presumably magic chains. I wonder if... Aha! Archmage yeah. Alistair! That's what I said, just Are take the lid off. I can't understand you... Blink once for yes and twice for no. Ooh, what does no blinks mean? Hang on, can frogs even blink? I think so. I think they have double lids. I think we'll need to sort this out later. I'm getting you out of here. Maybe it affected his mind? That would be unfortunate. Well, we didn't find any chalk. Unfortunately. Goodness knows if the archmage is still in there. The frog looks like a frog. And behaves like one, too. Right. I mean, that could be a consequence of the transformation. Can we send it to Wilbur? No. Well, let's head back out. Not click out of the game and make it minimize on us, please. Okay, Buttercup. You have to be really quiet now. Well, I mean, the troll has handkerchiefs no, in his ears. quiet. No! <laughs> Okay, let's go. Should be fine, I hope. Oh, well, that skipped a lot. So I guess we I don't go into the other room. Buttercup. No, the troll was not your friend. He was trying to kill us. No, I'm pretty sure that he didn't just want to play when he started hacking at us. <laughs> be that as it may, Archmage Alistair is safe now. If this really is Archmage Alistair. And knows how we can destroy the wand, we'll need to leave as quickly as possible. Morning's approaching, and in all probability, this will be the day that we see the return of a very, very frustrated council leader. Right, so her journey, talking with your parents and everything, and coming back took a single night. That seems unlikely, but whatever. Uh, she's not exactly the most impressive of companions now, is she? No, but However, she is a companion. Now, I've only ever had Cheap Cheap at my side. Which reminds me, where is he? I don't think we brought him. As that soon it? as Wilbur has rescued Remy and we've got a plan together, then my noble flying steed will carry me off to new adventures. Right. Or to find out how you actually got as pregnant? Soon as Wilbur okay, well, let's go back down. Maybe the game will let me tell Wilbur how to do these things. Do we post the... Laws here, maybe? Let's start the Pregnant Elves Law. Looks like it. There must be a better place for this law. Oh. Still that little echoing bug sort of thing. 
Can we bring the law up? Mother. I sincerely doubt she'll be impressed by it, but at least she'll get to see it. Okay. I'm guessing just the amulet law goes here, or maybe down where they're at? I could put up the law. So if everyone starts to smoke herbs and the council leader catches them, then they won't be able to throw the book at them. I don't want to be responsible for destroying the careers of a few hard-working young people. Okay, so you're not going to then? I could put up the law. So if every... I don't want to be... Or not. Okay, whatever. This one? Most people have fled town or hiding in their houses. Hardly anyone will see this law if I put it up here. I might... Okay, so there's somewhere else the laws need to go then. Fair enough. Somewhere here? I don't really see. Let's see if we can talk to Wilbur. Wilbur. Apparently she can tell yes. him now, I hope. Uh, we've got the Archmage. Saved Archmage Alistair. Or the frog that we think is Archmage Alistair. Kraken, is he alright? Yeah, he's okay. Got a few bumps and bruises. But it wasn't because I dropped him a couple of times fighting the troll together with a hippogriff or anything like that. <laughs> of course Hello? not. Hmm? Did you just say you rolled a hippogriff into battle against a troll? The Archmage is safe, okay? That's all for now. Really? See you later. <sighs> please, please say I don't have to redo this whole section because I, I got it out of order. About right now. And quite honestly, I'd rather only stick my head down there when absolutely necessary. Damn it. I hope that's not the case. Can we show these people the law? I'm not sure if this actually applies to them. Apparently it doesn't. Well, let's go see if we can find a place to hang it up. Well, I mean, I don't actually see a place to hang it. Maybe we just show it to Blout? Um, yep, seems to be the case. Maybe we don't tell Wilbur about the magic circle. Maybe we get the amulet for it. Maybe the magic circle was the red herring. I'm sorry to have to say this, but you are a criminal, Blout. Blout, not criminal. Blout stands here like good little ogre and sells strange things. <laughs> You're wearing an amulet, and that's against the law. What it say? By order of the Merchant Council leader, and with immediate effect, the wearing of magical protection is forbidden because... Well, I don't need any reason just because. Whoever is caught with such an item is to be punished with severe cutification for a minimum of six months. Huh? No! Blout don't want to be little girl with pigtails. Well then, Got to perhaps you should from. take that amulet off. Well, perhaps you can ask the friendly law enforcement officer to turn a blind eye. Who's I blind? What he means, Blout, is if you are really sorry about this and you can see you've made a mistake, then maybe the daughter of the council leader doesn't need to hear about it. Sorry! Very sorry! Very wrong! I will, however, need to confiscate the amulet so that you won't be tempted to wear it in secret. Hey. Confiscate. Take away. Oh! Sure! Okay, well, I mean, that... You don't tell little girl, right? Blout want to stay Blout. It's okay, Blout. Okay, well, that was a bit convoluted and confusing to me. But I guess we've got it now. The amulet shows the magic circle symbol. If a ghost stands in such a circle, it can't leave it. I hope. Oh. So that's why we needed... The amulet to show Wilbur how to draw the circle. We st he still doesn't have anything to draw it with, though. Oh, okay. Have you got any idea how one can uh, change back something the little Van Buren transformed? I'm guessing not, but I thought if it was I worth seeing. that, I'd have turned our lovely inn back to normal ages ago. Fair enough. Are you expiring? No. No. All right, um, ta-ta for now.
All right, well, let's give Wilbur the amulet then. Wilbur? Yes? I've got an amulet for you. It shows the magic circle symbol. I still feel like there should have been a dialogue about the circle. Is it magic? Not in the slightest. But it shows the symbol you have to draw on the ground underneath the ghost to trap him. Uh, okay, got it. Thanks. That's all for now. See you later. All right, well, back to Wilbur then. Once I draw the symbol on the ground under the ghost, he'll be spellbound. Only, how can I do it? Yeah, I wonder. Hmm. Well, now we've got new things going on, should we should probably look around everywhere again. Um, any word, Hi, Ethel? Apparently so. Well, ooh, you always have this habit of creeping up on me. Sorry. Okay, so we'll tell her but not Timmy? I found Remy. He's... he's injured. Ooh. Do you have anything like a healing potion? Oh, uh, good idea. Uh, I'll prepare one at once. How long will that take? It'll take a while if it's to be a strong one. Well, it does need okay. to be strong. Please do your best. And do you by any chance know anything about ghosts? Oh, superstitious nonsense. That isn't quite true. There's one down there. Oh, temperature changes, fog, drops, no ghosts. This one talks. Look, there's a ghost down there and it's taken Remy prisoner. Hallucination, suggestion, not real. Get Remy here, quick! If you say so, you look after the healing potion then. I'll deal with the hallucination. I'll see what I can do for Remy. Yes, quick, quick! Well, I'm trying. It's not exactly working. Will you let us go back upstairs now? I think I'll let Ivo do the work up there. Okay, apparently not. She can not. go places I can't. She can even reach things higher than a meter and a... I'll look yeah. after everything. We, we get it. We get it, Wilbur. So... All right, nothing to interact with here. We need to find something to write with, though. Don't know what we're supposed to do. Maybe Timmy I'll has something? I'll get Remy out of that terrible temple. I owe it to him and Timmy. Okay. Well, have you statues got any chalk? I was in the temple and there's a terrifying ghost. That's great. That gives it a little pep. A little pep? My friend is dying. And you have only a short amount of time to save him. Yes. This is exciting, isn't it? Sort of. This is all just a game to you, isn't it? But rats are dying here. If something happens to Remy because you wouldn't help me, then... Ah! Bugger this for a box of frogs. I don't have time <laughs> to waste on you gods. I've problems to solve. What's the matter with him? Well, we're just a little bit upset. I've had enough of gods. I have to take care of Remy. Okay. Well, thank you for letting me know that there is no help to be had. Yeah. Can we take a piece of this it statue? Is also a goddess. No, that is an Amazon. They guarded our temples. Didn't do a particularly good job of it, did they? No. Okay, well, um... Back over here. I don't know how we're supposed to draw this, but... Let's just see what transpires. I'll sneak back over to the island. Now I know what awaits me there. Maybe I can find a place to hide while I suss out the situation. Or maybe I can even go to get Remy without being noticed. One would hope. Oh, this is different. Okay, then. Hmm, I think this was once a mirror, just like the one over there. I'm not sure. Maybe the cultists required either sun or moonlight for certain rituals and used the mirrors to reflect it down here. Maybe? What do you mean, once a mirror? Is it broken? Is that why we need the mirror in our inventory? Can we perhaps draw the thing on the mirror and then reflect it down this there? Mirror is broken. No trace of the shards. Well, still seems to be reflecting light unless that's just the beam from over here. The mirror back there reflects the moonlight directly onto the mirror here. 
This is where it stops. Because this mirror's broken. Okay. The mirror back this is Okay. I think the mirrors can be adjusted. But Good as long deal. As the glass is broken, it's an unnecessary risk. It might squeak and the ghost could spot me. Okay. Well No idea how far down it goes. The cellar master spoke of caves and crevices reaching hundreds, sometimes thousands of meters down into the ground. Well, I guess it's rather deep since it was referred to as the abyss. Oh, Remy. If I'd have gone with you, this never would have happened. Or if it had, I could have got help. Or maybe you'd be trapped. Best not to think about what could have, should have, would have. Remy's very weak. He's in a lot of pain. Hang in there, old friend. I'll, I'll think of something. Well, she's Ethel's making a health potion, so... What a dreadful creature. The ghost lured Remy into a trap, and now it's using me to get the magic wand. Well, it's not entirely evil. It is trying to stop the portal from being opened. There's no negotiating with the ghost. It wants the wand and is willing to let Remy die for it. I can't let that happen. And we won't. I have to expel the ghost somehow, or cast a spell over it. The god of story said the ghost never leaves the island. Maybe it can't. I'll just need a few minutes, then I can free Remy and get him to safety. There's no negotiation. Okay. Well, we're starting to repeat now. Remy's very weak. Hang okay. Same there. There's light. The beam of moonlight really emphasizes just how dark it is down here. Well, if there's a beam of light, there's a, there's an opening up in this direction somewhere. The moonlight is reflected from the mirror back there to the broken mirror here. Yeah. I can only hope that the ghost doesn't accidentally look up here. I'm squatting right in the light. <laughs> the moonlight is ref I can Okay. Well, um this thing That's probably the strange machine that cultists wanted to use for things. And stuff. It doesn't look like it's been used recently. That's probably for the best. The ghost called the wand the key. I wonder if this machine is the lock. Probably. Probably, probably. Well... A small mirror made out of some strange material. It's really smooth, like wood, but it feels different. Okay, I think I know how this is supposed to work. Maybe not. Okay, thought we'd put the amulet on the mirror and then it wouldn't reflect and make shadows. But that seems not to be the case. Well, I'm going to try some combinations. Oops, didn't... I keep forgetting these hats. The only interaction is to take them on or off. Being shrunk is no fun at all. Okay. I should only use the ring when it's really necessary. Okay, so apparently the only interaction with the ring is to take it on or off as well. Well, there seems to be nothing we can do between items in our inventory, so let's put the mirror the onto the mirror stand. Is of course, much smaller than the mirror that was in there before, but it should be enough for a small beam of light. And it is. How do we... Can we do this now? Apparently. Okay, so... Hmm, good idea. But it's probably best if I adjust the beam first. Really? Is it? Then the ghost will notice that we're moving it, won't it? Yeah. The light doesn't seem to bother him. He hasn't moved from the spot. No, but he definitely noticed it was shown on him. Hmm, if I put the medallion on the mirror, then the shadow might... <sighs> well, just do it, please. Well, that worked much better than I thought it would. It works! Yes! The ghost can't leave the magic circle. I have to get to Remy quick. Yes. Who knows how long it will take the ghost to break through the magic circle. Yeah, if only you'd been a bit nicer. Remy! Good idea. Using the magic circle, Wilbur. Thank but you. it won't hold him off for long. Yeah, okay. well, let's, let's well, move. We've got to get out of here quick. No. No? It's too late, Wilbur. The trap is probably the only thing holding me together. Really? Well, um, there are healing potions. It's not too late. A good healing potion or a powerful healing spell and you're back on your feet. 
I don't have much time. Just take the whole trap. It's not wasted with impossible dreaming. I've only just found out what is going on with the wand. Okay. If only I'd got here earlier. If only I'd got to the island more quickly. You're here. That's what counts. My death won't be in vain. And I have a friend by my side. In my final hour. Why don't you just I tell us the story that. as we move? And then we can hear the story and get you healed. All right, what whatever. The wand? There were two brothers, powerful sorcerers. They amassed much wealth and power. With the help of dark knowledge, they searched and found this temple. One of them went insane and left town. The other was killed by my grandfather. Okay. Oh. Remy. Shortly before the brother's death, he transferred all of his power to a wand. Okay. That power would only be unleashed if a blood descendant held the wand in their hands. And that is the Van Buren girl? No, I don't think the ghost is the ghost of the sorcerer. It's because the Van Buren girl's a descendant? Well, let's just go ahead and do these options. And one of the creators still guards his machine as a ghost? No. No. My grandfather must have encountered the sorcerer by coincidence. He realized what the sorcerer's plan was and defeated him. Right, because the he ghost doesn't want to do what the sorcerer did. And never left the temple again. You mean... He guards the wand. Didn't want it to find its way into the hands of the descendant of the sorcerer. So the ghost is your grandfather? It changes people. The wall between our world and the dungeon dimension is particularly... Dungeon world? Thin here. The influence of the Nameless One is strong. I think my grandfather has forgotten who he was. He only exists to protect the wand. And his size certainly increased. You found the wand and gave it to me, but I don't understand. Wilbur, in everyday life, the sorcerers were... Merchants. Of His course. His name was Van Buren. Sybil married Montgomery Van Buren, the sorcerer's youngest son. Her daughter, Chantal, has a Van Buren blood flowing through her veins. The first time the wand acted strangely was in the classroom. It must have sent Chantal. Mm -hmm. And when Chantal got her hands on it, she received all her grandfather's secret powers, but not his knowledge. That's good. So how can the wand be destroyed? How can we destroy the wand? It's explained in the... The second brother's book of spells. He... Uh, uh, he spent his final years... Mentally deranged. In the dark woods. Oh boy. And the one brother came up with a way to break the other's power if it ever became necessary. Yes. Uh, you must find the book and destroy the wand, Wilbur. Will do. Go now, my friend. Remy! And take Remy with you, please. The resistance needs a leader. And I know of no greater fighter for good than you. Give this to Timmy. Please, look after him. I will make you proud, Remy. Maybe her health potion can bring him back from the dead? Don't just leave him here, Wilbur. Or maybe he'll be a ghost when we come back. Bye, Remy. Bye, Grandpa. What? What happened? Where's Uncle Remy? I'm so sorry. No, but... You said you'd bring him back. I tried. <sighs> well, this is 
all very sad. Um, all set to go. They're waiting down by the gate. Hmm, all, all right. And Timmy? Esther and Nate are taking care of him. Okay. Uh, you really are quite sure? Yes. Remy said the key to the wand's destruction lies in the dark woods. And his death shall not be in vain. No, we hope. it shan't be. I just don't know if we should split up. We're a good team together. <sighs> well, we couldn't save Remy. A good team has lost a member. It wasn't your fault and you know it. I don't know it. If I hadn't wallowed in self-pity... Well, you're doing it again. Down, right at the start, everything would have been different. And if he hadn't given you the magic wand, it would have too. Or if Van Buren's daughter hadn't got her hands on the magic wand in the staff room. If, if, if. All that we can do is keep Remy's memory alive in that we honor him and do what he would have done. Would he have stood here and reproached himself? So, what's the plan, Chief? Thank you, Ivo. That was very well said. Hmm. Uh, well, we're going to say this in the more diplomatic fashion. You look after the Archmage, I'll search for the book. Van Buren can't chase us both. You're right. She'll be beside herself when she notices that the Archmage is gone. Any idea how to bring him back? Not the slightest, but I know how to find out. How? An oracle told me. I'll have to help a friend and will not know what to do. I must then find a flying pirate island and on it a building without corners. Then that's your path. Come on, Gulliver. Let's go see what Timmy's up to. Yep. Good luck. Look after yourself. And we should put as much distance between us and Seastone before the old witch realizes what's happened. Come on then, Buttercup. We're trying to find a flying pirate island. That's where we'll find the answers. Too many questions. Yes, not enough answers. Cheap, here you are at last. We're looking for a flying island. Try to keep up this time. <laughs> Poor Cheap Cheap. Just barely got here and on the wing again. Oh... Yeah, that's... It's quite fascinating how you can get other people to work for you if you know the right buttons to press. <laughs> are you... Are Your you... Your services are no longer needed. You're going to bring the nameless one back to this world! What? Nonsense. Only an idiot or a lunatic would try something like that. And I am neither. Where is Remy? <laughs> Where is the actual Remy? What a twist! <laughs>